Hey guys, it's May May and it's time for our year end wrap up of our 2016 heart journal. And I cannot believe we've already done a whole book. Look at this book. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad how puffy it is. I mean, I don't mind that. I know when I add things, it's going to happen. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, we have a lot going on for 2017. And so what I think I'll do is talk about what's going to happen in 2017 and then give you a walkthrough through this book at the end of the video, just because I know a lot of you would like to see it. But before we do the walkthrough, I want to show you my last entry. So this is the last entry. See how white? Remember how I told you I was going to go really, really white? I'm trying to get the glitter to show up on this. I don't know if it is showing. There we go. Look at that. This is that um, Nouveau glitter embossing, which I think is so beautiful. We carry this in the store, and I wanted this page to be light and bright and sparkly. So look at that. I love it. So we'll do this real quick since we didn't get together last week. The Advent season started here. And see how dark that was? It started there. Then we got a little more light. And then we got a little more light and then we got a lot of light and i love that so that is my advent season and how it ended but we'll go through the book in just a few seconds now the book i'm going to be using for 2017 is very similar to this book you can see the size is the same i loved the size of this book i felt very um comfortable with this size and doing my art i don't know if you remember but in 2015 i did a full eight and a half by 11 book and sometimes that overwhelmed me trying to fill the page with my art so i love this size now the book this year is a little bit different and that is i have a soft cover on it i'll show you why in a second this one had the hard cover and i don't really think that matters too awful much i'm not rough on my books or anything so that didn't really bother me but I want to do this year a little different, so I thought this might be a little bulky if you wanted to take it with you with these two hard covers. So I picked out the soft cover book, and it's also uh, cardboard in the back. So this is available in the store as well. A lot of you guys ask me every year, where can I find the book you're using? I was able to source this one and get it in the store, and it's really affordable. I want to say it's $9 or even maybe a little bit less, but I'll link it below for you. So what we're going to do different this year, I'm going to have to reference back and forth to last year. So last year, here's what we did. We heart the word where we hear the word, experience the word, and then art the word. That is, hide his word in my heart, okay? What we did last year was we wrote our scripture at the top, so we heard our scripture, we put it into our mind, and then we wrote how we experienced that scripture, what that scripture spoke to us. Just one time, one, one time during the week, and this was a little more than we did in 2015, because in 2015, we only wrote the scripture, and then we just did the art. We did not do any of the delving into what the scripture did for us. This year, I want us to go just even a little step further. So we're just kind of baby stepping this. And if you got through last year, you'll be able to get through this year. It won't be hard. What we're going to do just a little bit different this year is we're going to do a daily entry. So here's what I mean by that. I'm going to use my book very similar to last year, but I'm going to set it up a little different. So instead of having my scripture written here and then my thoughts on that scripture in one big point, we're going to do it in multiple points. So this is a free printable that I have put onto my website. I'm going to link it below for you. This free printable is so that you can cut it. It comes in two. Okay. So when you um, print this out, you get two pages per eight and a half by 11 sheet. Let me use some a trimmer for this and not my scissors because I'll make a mess. So I just cut that printable in half. So I get two sheets for every time I print it. So that'll save you on some print on some paper as well. Now, I did not print on the back. It is not double-sided because this is going to get mounted into my book. All right. So each week we will look at one scripture, which we'll write the reference for here. Okay. And then on Monday, we're going to write how that scripture is speaking to us in that particular day. Here's something I think is really cool about scripture. I could literally do the very same scriptures in this book that we did last year identically. I'm not going to, but we could. And you would get something new from the scripture every single time you read it. And that's what I want to encourage this year. Instead of us just looking at that scripture one time throughout the week, maybe you even took the time to memorize it, but then we kind of walked away from it once our art was done. I want us to come in every day, Monday, and write just a sentence. Notice I just gave you three little lines, okay? Just a sentence about what that scripture is saying to you that day. You might even want to come in maybe... Um, read the scripture and then maybe the next day, you know, maybe read the scripture on Sunday and write your scripture thoughts 
after you've read it a day before to kind of pray on it and let it sink in. Whatever way you want to do that, I just think if we come back every day and talk about that scripture, what it's saying to us that day, and it's just a sentence, please don't feel overwhelmed. If you only write, I feel the same today as yesterday, fine. That's perfectly fine. But at least you're causing yourself to have to look at that scripture again and to meditate on it just a little bit more than how we were before. So it's just a little step up, okay? So if you want to, you can put this on this side of the page. I think I'm going to switch this this year. I'll show you why. As the year progresses and my book gets kind of full, it gets a little harder to write on this side, even if I do this with the book, because it gets a little chubby. So here's what I'm going to do this year. And it may be a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to put my thoughts on this side of the page instead of this side. This side is where my art is going to live. And the reason for that is I tend to do my art outside of the book and then glue it in. And I think that way it doesn't really matter. My writing will be much easier on this side of the page than if I'm trying to write on this side by this binding. Since I, com since I complete my page of art outside the book and just glue it in, that won't matter at all. So this year is how I'm going to lay mine out. This side and this side will be art. Okay, so this page, let's look at it real quick. You have the date at the top. I thought it would be interesting to put that so that when you look back on this, you can go, you know what? In January, I was feeling this way about the scripture. Maybe you can remember something specific about that time in your life, and that'll be interesting to go back and look at. Here you have where you'll write the scripture reference. Now, at this point, you're thinking, but where do we get the scripture reference? I really enjoyed the way we did this last year. God always provided a scripture. He always provided a thought or an idea for me to use, and I'm going to go with that this year. The very first year we did this in 2015, I had a um, like printed out list that I went by for the whole year, and for me, that was I was just kind of stuck to that list, and I like whenever God can kind of lead and guide. So I'm just going to keep praying and talking to Him, and He will give me the scripture every week. Now, when if this is your first time here, I want to tell you how you find the scripture. I'm going to change something up. So listen to me, friends. This is a change, okay? Instead of posting these videos on Friday, I'm going to start to post these videos on Sunday. Here's the reason. I won't be filming and uploading on Sunday, so I won't be working on Sunday. But I want to have this loaded on Sunday because I have learned from a lot of you guys that this is a big part of your week of um, worship, that this is something you do that really gets you into the worship mode for the whole week. And waiting till Friday every time can kind of mess us up. Also, the calendar this year really leans toward starting on Sunday because Sunday's the first. So here's what I'll be doing. I'll be uploading these on Sundays at 9 a.m. Now, I have church and all that, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to pre-schedule these to upload. So you won't, don't worry, I won't miss church and I won't be working on Sunday. I know that concerns you and it concerns me as well, so I won't do that, okay? But it will upload on Sunday. So this year's first one will go up on Sunday morning, and when you have time, throughout the day or even Monday, you can then sit down, see the scripture reference that I've posted in the video, and then start your week. And I just think this is going to be a really cool thing for us to do. It's really developing and really becoming more of a Bible study than just an art journal, and I love that. Now, I also mentioned to you guys that I wanted to do a stamp set. This layout is how I kind of envisioned doing the page, but I've created a stamp set. I do not have it in my hand yet. It is on order. The reason for that is when I brought it to you guys in our Bible study, that was the first time it had popped into my head and there then becomes designing and proofing and all of the good work to get it going. So it took a little time. So this is what the stamp set is going to look like and I'm going to zoom you in. So if you want to purchase the stamp set, and remember, you do not have to purchase this stamp set. You don't have to purchase this sketchbook. You don't have to purchase anything to participate. I don't want you to have to purchase anything. That is not what this is about. But if you would like to, I have created these things for you. For example, the printable is totally free. It will be free forever and you will never have to pay for this. And so if you want to participate just this way, that is wonderful. Here's what the stamp set will have on it. At the top, I have hide his word in my heart just because I thought that was super cute. And we need a stamp like that because our, our little, what started as a little idea has really grown into quite a group. And I think that's cool. We could stamp that anywhere. Here you'll get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, just like it is on this printable. 
okay? But then I thought it might be fun to have another one in case some of you guys don't want quite this feminine or quite this loose looking text. So then in the middle you'll see I did more of a typewriter text. So you'll get the days of the week here more typewritery. I've also added some little things here for you to be able to use in your journaling. And here's what that is for. Let's say on Monday you write something down and you really want to focus on that. You'll have this little arrow stamp and you can stamp there, maybe in red or a bright color to say, don't forget to focus on that. I've also added this bar. This bar is for highlighting. If you use this bar stamp in a yellow ink or a pale blue or any pale ink, you could then stamp over something you really want to remember that you wrote on the page. This little box is made so if you want to circle something and remember it, you can do that. These can also be used in your Bible. Don't forget that. If this is something you want to use in your actual Bible for journaling, perfect idea for that. I also give you the date so you can lay this page out exactly like I have done it here. I give you the scripture, which is here, and then these lines. This line is the scripture line, and this line is the date line. Now, they don't have to be used that way. They can be used anyway. The last stamp on this set is this three-line journaling spot. I love a journaling spot, and I think if I can do it in stamping, I can journal anywhere I want. If you lay this out with your stamps, and you stamp Monday here, and you do your journaling line here, you'll be able to get a very similar to look to this printout. But I do like the extra things, the little points and the little dates and the little days and this little guy, prayer list. This is going to be another thing we do different this year. So I'm going to move this out of the way and show you this. So on our heart group on Facebook, we take a lot of prayer requests. We have a lot of prayer requests that come in and we have an administrator named Kim Lloyd who grabs and captures all of those prayer requests and puts them on a prayer list that is on our group that you can then read and pray over every day, anytime you pray, ever how your prayer life is, okay? But I wanna encourage you to do something a little different this year. Do you see how I've got paper left in the back of this book? Not a whole lot, but I do have pages left. What I'm going to do is in the back of my new sketchbook, I'm going to use this little stamp when I get it that says prayer list, and I'm going to stamp it at the top of the page. And from the back, I'm going to start writing the prayer list or the people that I need to pray for. And I'm just going to start my list on the back and just work my way in. So I have probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 pages that I can use for a prayer list in the back of my book. Now, I told you this last year, if I ran out of pages, I would just add another book and that wouldn't hurt my feelings. So you might want to just add a separate book. And as a little hint, I'm working on a prayer journal idea. So if you want to wait for that, you can. And I'll show you how the prayer journal idea is going to come out too. That's really cool. I'm still in prayer about that one though. So, but I think it's going to be neat. Okay. So I showed you how we're going to lay out the page. I showed you how I'm going to add the prayer request to the back. I also want to tell you this. We are not charging full price for this stamp set. I do. This is not about making money for me. This is about getting you into the word. Our regular price on stamp sets are $12.99. We're going to put this one at $9.99 and it's going to stay there. That's about as low as I can go and still be able to produce it. So we're going to put it at $9.99 and that's what this one will be. And I, when I have this in hand, I'll come back and link it in the bottom of this description so you guys can grab it. But I will also give you guys an update as to when this lands on our Facebook group. Now, a lot of you ask, so where is the Facebook group? How do I see all the scriptures? How do I see what everyone's doing? Let me tell you an overview of that real quick. So on our Facebook group, we encourage you guys to get into the group, meet people, pray together, pray for others, be part of our Bible study that goes on, share your artwork. We want to see what you're doing. Share your testimonies and your stories and anything. We just become a family there. And there's like 4,800 plus members right now. It has really grown and it is a great place if you're looking for encouragement. That Facebook group is called Hide His Word in My Heart, and it is a group. It's a closed group, and the reason we do that is because so many times nowadays people get hacked with not-so-nice posts and not-so-nice visitors to our groups, so we're very careful to try to keep those things out. So you will have to request to join. No big deal. Just click request to join, and then our admins will take care of that. Now, we do a live Bible study once a week. The time on that Bible study may get adjusted this year, but I'm not sure, but I'll give you plenty of notice if it's going to. But we do that live from our home, Vince and I, and we hope to have a lot more guests this year. The time frame kind of messes up the guest idea because we do that at 8 p.m. our time, 9 p.m. Eastern. And so that's kind of hard for me to have guests in my home at that time of day. So we may look at changing that just a little bit or adding some stuff. So 
this is heart journaling. It's kind of evolved. It's kind of grown. It's kind of become more than just, I'm putting some art in a book that has to do with scripture. It's really become something that we have become a family about, and I love it. Um, this was something God gave me back at the end of 2014 to do, and I'm so thrilled with how it has evolved. And this year's going to be even better. So now you can see why I liked the softer covers, because we're going to be writing in this every day. And if you're like me, and maybe you carry a backpack or you carry a bag, you'll be able to put this in your bag and carry it with you. We may even at some point create maybe like a little elastic belly band to go around it in case we want to make sure everything stays together. We'll see. I think I told you everything, but if I'm missing anything, please leave a question in the comments below, and that way I can answer them and other people who have the same question can get their answers as well. This is free. It will always be free the whole time. I'll have that linked in the blog post. Um, I'm going to do a write-up blog post, too, to let you guys know exact, you know, to kind of bullet point how this thing works. And um, that's it. It is time to go through last year's. Going through, la through last year's will help you understand what we do, too. So if this is your first time in, this will be super fun for you. Now, I decorated the cover of mine last year with some gesso. I think that was gesso. It could have been white paint, but I think it was gesso. And these were some rub-ons that were sent to me by my friend Edith. And also, I used some of my stamp sets, and I just wanted a hodgepodge of scripture there. I'm definitely going to decorate the front of this cover. I'll be sure to film that. And if you need some inspiration, a lot of folks over on our heart group have already started decorating theirs, and they're beautiful. Okay, so last year I laid mine out like this on my front page, which I will do this same kind of thing again because I love this. I did hear the word, experience the word, and then art, and I just did it like this for my 2016 journal. This is also a rub-on that I put there, so I just decorated. And then week one. So week one was pretty cool, and this it feels like yesterday. I like to flip through this. This is where we started. Now, the way it'll be different this year is my art will be on this side, and my daily writing will be on this side. So that's how I'm going to change it up. And that was week one. This was week two. I'm not going to take too long because there's a lot to go through. There's week three. This one, I love the colors of that one. I love how that one turned out. Oh, I love this page right here. And I did it a little different. So feel free to mix it up. You don't have to do this just like I'm going to do it. I had a lot here to write. This was 1 Corinthians, so that was a cool one. And this is Ken Oliver Color Burst. I thought that was so pretty on there little embossing I focused on here with some embossing folders. Oh, I love this one with stamps. That was fun. It's kind of neat little walk through memory lane. Love it. This was a stamp set we did with the lion and the lamb. And that's actually the stamp set I used in my last entry this year with the little lamb. I put the lamb at the top and then did the scripture from that stamp set. That one is called lion and the lamb. So we have that in the store. This was from my friends at Joy Claire. This is one of their stamp sets. I think that is adorable. And, oops, skipped a page. Look at this one. I love it. All the scriptures and all the colors. I love this one, too. I think this is adorable. This is also a Joy Claire stamp set. This was a page that came in the mail to me from a Lifeway flyer. It was like a sale flyer for coloring, and I colored it and put it in. Love it. I love this. The little birds and the dragonflies. So cute. Or the bees and the dragonflies. This was actually inspired by a page I saw in a um, crafting book. I thought it was really pretty. like that one. All the cookie this one is, let your light shine. So you can see how you can use a lot of your stamp sets. We have the Scripture Stamp Club, so I like to try to use those as much as I can to give inspiration to my members. But you can use any stamp set you have or cut things out. These were little punches here. I think they're adorable. This was done with the Cricut. I love that. I actually did a whole video showing you how to do this one in the Cricut, so that was awesome. I love how this turned out all rugged and pretty. This was done with the scan and cut. I remember doing that with the letters that are built into the machine. This one I did, and my idea was I would come back and color over time, and I still may do that, but I did color the words in. When you sit down and start to color, you can finish one in a second. I love how this one turned out. These were rubber band roses. That was super fun to do. This was done on Cricut. I think I even shared this file with you guys on Cricut. I think you can get it that way. Oh, this one was fun. The Four Seasons from Ecclesiastes, how everything has a season. That was cool. Oh, from Second Chronicles, I remember this because I was going through such, it's so fun to look back. I remember struggling with the way things were going in the country. Not that we're not struggling today, but I was struggling. And this was a um, very, very tough week for me. I really focused on this a lot that week. Ah, oh, the feathers, how pretty. I love it. Oh, remember this cross from Fernley? I just love that cross. It's actually wood and it's a little dimensional, but I love it. I thought it was cool. All right, these little doors open to reveal a scripture. Cute, huh? Matthew 7, 7 through 8. I love that one. 
look, we did this scripture twice, and sometimes that may happen, but this one was totally in my brain. So we did this one twice, and I love how different this one is from the first one. Oh, the piano keys. That was so fun. I love these. I love going back. This was a printable I found online, so sometimes I'm going to find those, and I shared that with you in the video so you can find that printable. Look at those bright colors. I also love to try to make the colors different from page to page so I don't get into a like a rut. Oh, you remember Joe's handprint? This was my guy, my littlest kid, Joe. And look at the size of the hand. And he's my littlest. So it's bigger now, I'm sure. Oh, I has not seen, ear has not heard. I like that one. Remember, trust and obey. Love it. God is able. Did this with the alphabet punch board. Remember, we shrunk those letters down. That was cool. Uh, this is when the twist and pop was what I was doing. It was in my head like crazy. So we did a little three-dimensional in there. Look at this one. It's so cute. I think I stamped, yeah, I stamped this on a piece of paper I already had in my stash. And then clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I like that one. That's cool. Oh, look how pretty this one is. I like how shimmery. It's very sparkly. Very sparkly. This one was very fall. I love how that one turned out. Now this page, and I'm going to tell you, this is the week of Thanksgiving and we were on vacation. And if you remember, this was when the Gatlinburg fires happened. And I had every intention of coming back and doing like a real happy page and just um, happy Thanksgiving type of page. And I'm just not sure where I'm going with this page and I'm leaving it and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something, but I don't know what yet. And so for you guys too, if I ever tell you a week and you don't know what art to do, don't do it until you feel like you've gotten exactly what you want. You don't have to do art every week just because. This is where we, no, this is where we start the Advent in this season. So we did um, the Advent walkthrough. So there's hope. Here's Luke 3, 4 through 6. This is Luke 2, 14. And then the final one is Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So that's last year's. That's 2016. Maybe I'll bring 2015 in and do a walkthrough of it too. I don't think I did. I think I skipped some in 2015, but I've only skipped one this year that I've actually not done. So there you go, guys. I hope you'll be a part of this this year. I hope you like the changes that I'm doing. I hope they're really more additions than changes. I think it's going to be nice to be looking at our scripture every day instead of just one time. Like, for example, when I showed you the one that I remembered being um, really in prayer about that week, it would have been nice to kind of jot down the things I was feeling so I could go back through and go, oh, that's interesting. I felt that way then and this way. So that's the explanation. So heart videos will go up on Sunday mornings at nine o'clock. Some people tell me this is their only church. I know that sounds um, odd, but some people tell me this is their church. They have come become a part of this group and this is something they look forward to every week. And so I'm going to start posting on Sunday so you can spend the whole week uh, journaling. It doesn't mean you're going to journal on Sunday. You may, you may not. You can journal and do your artwork any day during the week. All right, guys, thanks so much for being a part of this journey. I want to also ask you, if you've been a part of this since 2015, put in the comments below that this, that how long you've been here. Maybe if you can even go back and look at your book and see when you started, that would be super cool. Now, if you're coming to this video late in the year and we've already started, here's my tip. Just count the pages of the weeks that we have already done, move them aside, and start on the week where we are. Then if you'd like, you can go back and journal these later, or you can just start where we're at and keep going. Unless God changes things, we'll keep doing this every year and hopefully it'll just continue to evolve. Thanks so much for watching. I know this was a long video. I had a lot to tell you and a lot to get through, but um, I'm excited about where God's taking this this year. I think it's going to be a real blessing. Thanks so much for watching guys. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.